And moving back to Europe now uh, with a team solving a very important global issue, how can we help build healthy relationships with food? Meet Petal App. Hi, my name is Aidana and we've got family here. One in two of teenage girls are unhappy with their body and 60% of those grow up to have a negative body image. This leads to a high risk of development of an eating disorder, which if you didn't know, has the highest mortality rate out of all mental conditions. I was part of that statistics. My daily intake some time ago was only 600 calories a day. And the experience of that is not great. I was bombarded with unreliable and conflicting information about diet and health. I lacked access to professional help. And with any mental health condition, I felt lonely and isolated. Which is why we came up with Petalab, a mobile app that helps people with poor relationship with food to build a happy one instead. It's built on three main pillars of credible information in the form of podcasts, videos, articles, and exercises, peer support through community chats forum, and, uh, and uh, therapist marketplace with a chatbot. It will be on a premium subscription, so people will get community chats, basic content, and connection to therapists for free, and they can pay to get more exclusive content, gamification, and an AI chatbot. We'll have additional revenue streams through advertising and therapist marketplace. There are over 80 million people with eating disorders in the world, and this number will only continue to grow with a high percentage of teenagers becoming unhappy with their body as they age. There is also a sharp increase in demand for eating disorder helplines as well as mental health apps. We are going to target three user groups. The first, people unaware of their poor relationship with food but already engaging in extreme weight control measures. The second group are people recognizing the problem and seeking the additional support. The last are friends and families of those who are struggling. To validate our product, we have built an engaged community on Telegram chat which we have also used for our customer discovery. And we found that indeed the majority struggle to find credible information and do not have anyone to talk to. We've also talked with over 20 experts, half of which who contributed to the content. Food have had a launch of our simple app on the App Store with just content and community chats available. And that allowed us to see the signs of early adoption. With the zero marketing spend and just organic growth, we've achieved almost 700 downloads. And on the right, you can see some amazing experts who helped us out with the first content. Our vision of success is to help people shift their mentality and attitude towards food. That could include rejection of diet culture, breaking the food rules, and making peace with the body. Our ask at the pre-seed stage is around 300,000, most of which will cover our human capital and support marketing with operations. As a team, we bring a mixture of practical skills as well as personal experience of the problem in me and Aitana. Thank you so much for listening and we're looking forward to your questions. Brilliant, exactly three minutes to the dot. That's amazing. It's always a pleasure for us when it's exactly three minutes. <laughs> um, Cool, really well done. Okay, uh, question time. First one is, how are you different to competition? So we have uh, three main groups of the competition. The first one, are eating disorder recovery apps. The second group, are mental health apps. And the third group, are therapist marketplaces. And we're different in a way that the brain all the features in one place as a one-stop shop focused on eating disorders. So for example, uh, for eating disorder recovery apps, they are exclusive for people who are not diagnosed. So they only need to be used together with a therapist. Uh, mental health apps such as Headspace and Calm, they lack eating disorder focused content and they also do not have the community aspects inside. And the therapist connection app do not have the content and do not have the community chats inside. And we will also bring the focus on eating disorder specialists. Uh, brilliant. Um, so the question which I think you also get quite often is, um, it can have very positive impact, but uh, have you considered the unintended consequences? Uh, how do you moderate the chat to make sure it really only helps people rather than, you know, just the opposite? Mm -hmm. that is, yeah. Okay. You go on. Um, I don't know. You go on. It's fine. 
Okay, so the community chats is uh, a, a one big aspect that we really, really thought hard about. And we are aware of, you know, the triggering content that can be uh, posted there. We were part of a lot of groups before, uh, like on Facebook and like other places. And we've seen this, you know, spiraling really bad. So we created a, a long list of banned words that we are not allowed to use in the community chats. And our backend system detects those words before anything is posted. And if it contains those words, it doesn't post it and lets the user know that, you know, you can't post those stuff. And also um, another thing is when people create a post, they have an option to tick a box saying that, you know, this could be triggering um, information or content. So, you know, when, when you open a homepage of community chats forum, you'll see a message popped up saying, hey, this may contain uh, triggering information. So, you know, it's up to you to, to just to open it or not. Good. Um, we have two more questions that we're going to combine into one. Um, how are you going to promote and market this to your customers? How are you going to get it in hands of people suffering from eating disorders? So we're going to have uh, two groups that we start market to. The first one are people who are yet unaware of their relationship with food. And based on our personal experience, when me and Idana were going through deserted eating, but we didn't know yet that we have this problem, we were just following a lot of nutritionists, influencers who would talk about their diet and the lifestyle. And we, the way we plan to address this audience, like us back then, we plan to communicate Petal's message through those influencers and educate more people about the intuitive eating concepts and the harm of diet culture. And the second group we are also going to address through being active on the online community, uh, like Facebook, Reddit, where people already seek for additional support, as well as we will be seeking partnerships through schools and universities and social media. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you both very much. Okay.